Both of these classes of water look the same, right? Actually, one of these classes of water has been disinfected by chlorination, and the other through a chlorination-less process. Our research is proposing chlorination-less treatment for the disinfection of drinking water with nanodiamond powder. Nanodiamond powder is a newly developed material that has bactericide properties and is biocompatible with humans. But why propose a chlorination-less treatment? While chlorination is the most common treatment used in disinfection of drinking water, it has several disadvantages. First, it residuals, also called trahalomethane, can cause carcinogenic activities on humans. Secondly, some microorganisms can be resistant to this treatment. And last, chlorine is a highly toxic gas, representing a hazard to communities nearby water treatment plants. The main disadvantage of this infection is, like I said, that it causes or it may cause cancer or an increase in cancer rates. There's another problem with this infection, it's a, it is that it is a highly toxic material. This is why we're proposing a chlorination-less process. This process will be healthier, cheaper, and environmentally friendly because it is reusable. Additionally, this nanodiamond disinfection method can work in developing countries where access to quality drinking water is limited. Furthermore, this disinfection can work as a powerful resource in rescue missions and stream sports such as hiking and outdoor camping. Now that you have heard about the practical applications of nanodiamond powder, I will explain how our research shows that the process works. We first collect river water from the Rio Piedras River. Then the nanodiamond powder is applied to the river water. These are the results. The blue dots are the E. coli colonies. You see that there are more E. coli colonies in the contaminated water than in the water with nanodiamonds. As time passes, we are able to see a reduction of the E. coli colonies. Well, as mentioned before, this treatment can be reusable. Our nanodiamond is cleaned through the thermal cleaning method to destroy any microorganism that can be attached to the powder. After cleaning it, we run again the experiment and similar results were achieved. We chose diamond water. Which one will you choose? Cheers! Cheers! <laughs> Thank you.